the word of the day is aflatoxins. Yes, these are poisonous cancer-causing chemicals. They are produced by certain molds that grow in soil on decaying vegetation, uh, hay, and grain. So aflatoxin B1, AFB1, has generated much concern because it is a potent animal carcinogen. It's implicated as a factor in liver cancer in humans and classified as a class 1 carcinogen. AFB1 can, uh, is a natural contaminant that can be found in very high concentrations in a variety of foods and crops, such as peanuts, breakfast cereal, corn, and cornmeal, dairy products, and processed foods. Now, these foods that I just listed off, we all consume a great deal of it, even though we know that it's, it's not good for us, but we still do. And aflatoxins is why this is not good for us. It is basically toxic. We're putting toxins into our body. How can we destroy aflatoxins? So there are numerous chemicals that have been shown to degrade and inactivate aflatoxins. Uh, this is such things as acid, bases, aldehydes, etc., etc. The list goes on and on. But they form toxic residues and alter nutrient contents, so we can't use them. There are studies that um, involve wild clays, like such as bentonite. That is a famous one because I think the reason why we most of us know it is because. Mothers who have children with autism, they use bentonite, which makes sense because basically what they're trying to do is pull toxins out of, out of their bodies. So basically this study says that uh, clays such as bentonite is that they are available as an anti-caking agent in animal feed, but are, the question is, are they even using it? I don't think so. It tightly binds aflatoxins in an aqueous suspension. This diminishes the uptake by the blood and in result from keeps it away from your organs because your blood it flows to your organs. If it's not in your blood, it's not gonna go to your organs. That cut out all kind of liver cancer, all of that, that'll cut all that out. And this prevents aflatoxins in uh, in farm animals as well. This study was to determine if the use of clays such as bentonite could protect against the effects of aflatoxin in pregnant rats. And here is the study. And in the first three rows you have untreated or that show control group. The next row is AF alone. And then the next row that we want to look at is the one that says AF plus bentonite. And these three rows we're gonna focus on and you know evaluate those three rows. So seven out of zero of all animals lived in the untreated group. In the AF alone, out of seven, one would die, one fetus would die. And and the AF plus bentonite all lived same as the control, basically, all survived. Okay, so your starting weight for all these groups, they were pretty much the same, so we're not going to too much focus on this. However, the food intake was less for the AF group alone, the AF alone group, but the AF plus bentonite was the same as the untreated group. And then if you look at the average litter weight for AF alone, it was 8 grams. And look at that compared to the untreated, or yes, the untreated group, which they ranged at 51 grams. That is, that's a huge difference when dealing with toxins and how they're affecting your body. And here you can clearly see that um, AF plus uh, bentonite takes you back to your regular state at as if you were untreated or you didn't have the toxic chemical in your in your body. So what we can see from this study is this. Bentonite, and I'm not even gonna, gonna lie, I was one of the people who was like, oh, bentonite clay, whatever, they're just, they're talking. But now there is actual medical research that shows 
bentonite do pull toxins out of your body. It, this is basically what it's saying. So therefore, it can help with cancer. It can help with autism. And it, and it probably is. I'm probably like to jump on the bandwagon, but it is truly helping people. It's ridding, it's getting, you're basically detoxifying your body in the best way possible. And I also want to read something from the U.S. Army. They also did a study on bentonite. The U.S. Army, this is what they said about their study. They showed that bentonite may be a successful treatment for exposure to chemical warfare. One Army Emergency Livestock Protocol calls for immediate administration of bentonite internally to counter effects of radiation poisoning in livestock food source. So basically they're using it to pull radiation out of your livestock. And they said the immunotoxicity of bentonite through environmental and dietary exposure is recognized in human and experimental animals. So basically the benefits are for humans and animals. So they are saying bentonite is what People have been raving that it is about. It is good stuff. And I'm going to purchase me some bentonite here pretty soon and get to detoxifying because I'm pretty sure my body needs it. I will have all these studies, these papers linked in the description box below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And until the next week, peace, love, and happy thoughts. Oh, comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, bye, guys. Bye. I've had to do this video too many times, and I'm high just off the word aflatoxins. Bye. <laughs>